Spiritual Rebirth of the Soul. I want to help everyone of goodwill to attain spiritual rebirth. For eternal life, the state of freedom and strength, the state of bliss, only starts with spiritual rebirth. Everything that is still enshrouded in matter, everything that still languishes within its constraints, is still enslaved and weak and only ever wastes its energy of life in order to increase matter. However, the soul which detaches itself from matter begins to liberate itself and slides into a different sphere, although it still lives on earth. The soul, recognizing its true purpose, begins to establish a different relationship with me, its father and creator of eternity, a relationship which is more akin to the original relationship, albeit still in a primitive form. It strives away from one realm towards the other kingdom, it steps into another previously unknown world, it is born again. And this rebirth clearly takes place when spiritual aspiration takes the place of earthly endeavor, when the world with its demands no longer comes first but is only taken notice of as far as the preservation of the earthly body requires. Spiritual rebirth is the result of intimate mental unity with me through the right kind of prayer or actions of love. I am motivated to approach a soul the moment it looks for me, the moment it strives towards me. In that case, its attention has been focused on me and the purpose of earthly life will have been achieved, a change of will has taken place which will also cause a change of nature an assimilation with my fundamental nature, which is love in itself. The soul has stepped out into a spiritual life and thus starts its spiritual ascent, which will certainly be achieved once it has taken hold of my hand and allows itself to be drawn by me. In order to attain spiritual rebirth the soul must have buried its earthly desire, it must no longer be held captive by its old shell because of cravings which aim to comfort the body, it must unhesitatingly be able to renounce what the world has to offer because it cannot be in the earthly and the spiritual world at the same time, but the entry into the spiritual world can only take place when it has completely overcome the earthly world. It is, after all, the soul's life and not that of the body which shall start anew. The body can certainly still be on earth, however, it must now submit itself to the will of the soul, thus its continued life on earth will be determined by the soul. I want to help everyone of good will to attain spiritual rebirth. And my help for a human being happens first of all by way of assisting him to liberate himself from matter. Admittedly, this often signifies my painful intervention, yet it is only ever intended for the salvation of his soul, so that it will learn to rise above matter, so that it will seek a different life. A life with everlasting possessions, so that it will strive towards the kingdom which is its true home, where it is free from every shackle and full of light and strength, where it can be blissfully happy for all eternity. Amen.